Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a 50 Facts About Me video and um, someone commented on my video last week named Rachel, so hey Rachel if you're watching this, and she asked me to do a Q&A video, but I can't really do a Q&A video because I don't know, I just, I don't like asking, like, I don't know, I just feel like I wouldn't be able to like, I'd be too shy to ask for like someone to be like, to, to ask people to give me questions, I feel like I, I don't know. So, I just thought, why not do a 50 Facts About Me video? Because it's kind of equivalent, because you still need to learn about me. So, I got you there. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. I am 15 years and 3 weeks old. 3, something like that. Oh, my birthday was like September 19th, so just like 3 weeks, I'm pretty sure. I am 5 foot 2, sadly. And my doctor was like, you probably won't grow anymore. And I was like, thanks. I wear a size 6 shoe. I live with my mom and my dad and my oldest brother, Brady. So, hey Brady, you're actually in your bedroom right now, so you probably can hear me talking about you. And, okay, I have another brother, but he's in like college right now and he's studying to be like a physics major, or he's like something, you know, in physics majoring, that kind of stuff. But I'm, I mean, me and math are just like, don't even work, so I don't even know like how I'm related to him because he's all smart in math and I'm just like, what? I'm currently in ninth grade. I have enough high school credits. I said that so blank. I have enough high school credits that I could graduate in 11th grade. <laughs> no biggie. But you know, I'm probably not going to. Because I, I want to like experience like all four years so I can just like one day when I'm like 30 ponder upon my, is ponder the right word? Upon my high school years. That sounded kind of creepy, but it's just going with that. There's like two things at the moment that I'm interested in for going to college, which sounds like college is so far away, but you know, I'm still thinking about it. So I want to either do fashion and merchandise or pre-law school. Did I say that right? I think I did. But like, you know, like the lawyers get to travel everywhere. They get to live in like basically any city they want. And that sounds pretty great. Guys, that just sounds pretty great. <laughs> Three years ago, I moved for like some few st some few states away from like my friends and my family that I grew up with. That was like a really depressing fact about me, but you know it's great. <laughs> I miss them, but we still communicate sometimes. Sometimes not, most of the time not, but I still remember them. And I made new friends, so it's cool too. I have been to 10 states, and I would like to travel to all 50 states, which sounds like a lot, but it's probably not. Um, but, you know, I'd also like to travel through Western Europe, just basically travel the whole world, just traveling, man. Where I used to live, like, you know, like three years ago, you had to travel, like, up to an hour probably just to get to any decent mall. Where I used to live, they didn't have, like, it was like a really kind of small town area, and so, like, they didn't have anything good there. I mean, they had, like, some boutiques, but it was just, like, way expensive, so just blow my chair light with you. Like now I can just go to any mall and I'm just like, I'm here. And it has blush and everything. It's pretty great. <laughs> I became interested in fashion and makeup and things like that when I was really young because I was always in the hospital because I was sick. <laughs> um, next fact, I had cancer when I was little and I survived. And I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia before my second birthday, like just before my second birthday. I have a checkup in St. Jude where the, like, I was treated at St. Jude every year, so I go there every year, So, but I love it there because the people there are awesome, and the hospital like where they redesigned it and stuff, it's awesome, and all the food that they have, it's awesome, they have like Starbucks and stuff, which is really great because every time I go there now, I'm just like, can I have a really big cup of coffee? Because I, really, I don't really drink a lot of coffee or Starbucks, but like the only time I really drink Starbucks whenever I go to St. Jude, I'm like way off the topic. Anyway, this this thing, I was trying to point, I was going to point to it, but I don't have like a viewfinder on my camera, so I was just hoping that I could get there. Okay, this is from St. Jude, and this is from St. Jude. So got you there. Is there anything else? No. But those are from St. Jude, if you are wondering, if you're like, oh, Emily, where'd you get that? St. Jude. Whenever I was four years old, I had like my Make-A-Wish and stuff, and my Make-A-Wish was to dance with Cinderella and Prince Charming at Disney World, which is like total, uh, okay, if you like seen The Fault in Our Stars, it's like kind of a coincidence because her Make-A-Wish was to go to Disney World, he was making fun of it, but you know, I was really young, so I was really into the Cinderella. I can't dance at all because I'm just like extremely clumsy, it's like really bad and it's really embarrassing, but I fall over anything. So, 
I have broken my right arm, well, my ulna and my radius, and my right leg, my right femur bone shattered because I was in a car wreck when I was little and it, my femur bone shatters. I'm not afraid of flying and I really love airports. Like, I don't know. I don't like the crowd of the airports, but I like airports like Atlanta Airport. That airport is not okay. It's like, I hate that airport. <laughs> it's really crowded. I don't like big crowds because they make me feel claustrophobic. Not, yeah, look, I just, I don't like big crowds because I like, if I see a lot of people, I get like really anxious. Like in the hallways at school, I get really anxious. So crowds are not a favorite of mine. I'm very afraid of roller coasters and like thrill rides. Like, I, I can't breathe when I'm on them, and I don't know why, I just, I really can't breathe on them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't breathe! But there's some of them that I like, though. Like, if they're not harsh, they're okay. But if they're like, hmm, and then I'm like, no, no, not me, girl, not me. <laughs> Do you hear my dog whining? I get butterflies in my stomach before I go to school every morning, and I have no idea why. Like, out, like, right when we were pulling into school, I'm like, oh no, they're back. And I just get, I get them, and then like I walk into school and I'm fine, but I just, I hate, I get them every morning. I have no idea why, it's really creepy. I have three people that I really count as my best friends, so <coughs> shout out to Janie, Louise, and Wendy. <coughs> I hate drama, like school drama, I just, I hate it. I can't stay mad at anybody, like if I'm in an argument or something, or if something's happening between me and somebody else, I try to like get the problem over as soon as possible. Like I'll apologize even if it's not my fault, because... I, I don't like being in drama, it just makes me feel uncomfortable. It makes me upset. I've only been to one sleepover in my entire life, which is really embarrassing, but you know, it's what you do whenever you have protective parents. And I've been to like a few of my friends' houses, but like I never sleep over. Plus I'm allergic to cats, so if somebody has like a cat, that I can't go anyway. So I mean, like all my friends have cats, except like one of them. So, two of them, so I can't go to theirs. So anyways. I've never had like a birthday party of my own. Like I don't really invite people over for my birthday. My family just kind of does like a, you know, you just like go out as a family and then we'll have like dinner. Or you, like you pick a dinner and then you have cake. We have cake at home. So I don't, we just kind of spend our birthdays at home like together as a family. I don't like invite people over. Umi is my favorite restaurant ever because sushi. I love sushi. I love sushi so much. And I always get shrimp tempura or the sweet potato roll, which sounds disgusting, but it's actually really good. Or the vegetable roll, veggie roll, whatever. Oh, like those, those three are my favorite because they're really good. I listen to music probably over half of the day, of like every day. I even listen to it like at school sometimes. And over the announcements, they're always like, one year in, one year out. They have that, have to have the same announcement every day. It makes me so mad because I heard them like the first time. But anyways, my point is, I listen to music like every day. I love music, and I always have at least one earphone in, probably like all times. So I really, really love reading like romantic, like fiction books, which just sounds so cheesy and like. <laughs> We had to go to the library with my English class and get a book and I got like a romantic book and then I was in AP class and they were talking bad about romantic books. It was like a week, like a few weeks ago. They were talking bad about, roman about romantic books and one of my best friends in that class, like one of my friends, Luis, that I said earlier, he's in that class and I looked back at him and he was la laughing because I love those books and he knows it and they were all talking bad about it and I was like, um, excuse me. So I really just like ignored the whole conversation. Like, even the teacher was talking bad about it. I was like, this is really awkward for me. <laughs> but no one knew. I didn't even like raise my hand throughout that whole conversation. I was just, okay. I hate when guys try to impress you about like having big fancy things. Like, my house is really big. You're like, I have a really big house and a really big car. And like all this crap, like congratulations, I don't really care. <laughs> Like I, like, I just like getting to know people by, like, their personality. Like, I don't care what you have. It's not, I'm not about that life, so, sorry. That happened to me, like, a little while ago. So I thought I'd include it. And so I just, like, stopped texting the person. And I was like, bye, Felicia. I really want to live in New York City whenever I grow up because it just looks like there's, like, so much stuff to do there. And it looks great. I could probably watch, like, any, like, Netflix movie or, like, any, like, Safi movie for, like, a whole week vacation, which was basically me over the whole summer wearing pajamas and eating food. That's like how I spend my weekends too. That's how I spent this weekend. Okay. I wanted to make a YouTube channel, which is like why I made my YouTube channel, so I could just like look back over time to see like how I've like, you know, everything I've experienced. It's kind of like a diary, except you get to see it. If that makes sense. <laughs> 
I don't really have like a large makeup collection. Like I do my makeup, like I leave all my makeup in like a travel bag and then whenever I wake up in the morning, I lay in bed, do my makeup with my hair in a towel. That was like a really random fact, but it's true. I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, every morning, except like Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday I get up at like 12. <laughs> but weeks, school days I get up at 5 o'clock. And I don't leave until like 6.45 to 7-ish. And the reason I get up, like I don't get up just to do my hair and makeup. Like I do get up for those reasons, but I also like getting up early so I can actually like wake up and I'll be awake for school. Because when I wake up in the morning, I'm usually really grumpy. Like if I don't get a shower in the morning, I'm like grumpy. It's pretty bad. I'm horrible at doing wing eyeliner, as you can probably tell. They're not even even. I tried to do it. Like I, did, I did it like probably three times before I got this, and I was just like, you know, I'll live with it. And it's one of my favorite looks, but yeah, I'm horrible at it. No matter how much I practice. Miranda Sings did my lipstick once, and it was really great. And I still have the lipstick, and I haven't used it since. Which sounds like really creepy, but I'm not that creepy. I'm just saying I haven't used it since. But I was really excited about it. I was like, can you do my lipstick, please? And she was like, she was like, sure. She said it sure as Colleen, and then she was like, she went, I can do that, Miranda. And I was like, whoa. That was like a transformation. But I was so nervous, I didn't really say anything. And then she was like, do you want to take another one? And I was like, wait, mm -mm, yes. And so, as you can tell, I'm a really awkward person. <laughs> I almost always pick my outfit like what, what I'm gonna wear for school the night before school and I have to like look at the weather so that way I'll know like what I'm gonna wear that week <laughs> but sometimes I'll just pick it out in the morning like if I'm really lazy I'll just be like you know I'll pick it out in the morning and usually those days I wear something that's just like comfy because I'm lazy. I carry my lunch to school every day and every day I bring a peanut butter jelly sandwich, green grapes, and chips like every single day so that's just what I have every day if you were wondering for lunch except Saturday and Sunday exceptions for Saturday and Sunday. That's like what I say for all of these, but you know. So I have that every day. I'm having it tomorrow. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> I get my learner's permit in like a little bit over five months because you have to be like 15 years old in five months, six months to get your learner's permit where I live, but where I used to live, I would already have it because you could get it like the day of your birthday or like the next business day for your 15th birthday. But then I moved here and then you have to be 15 to 6 months. <laughs> I've never driven a car before. I've only been in one of those like high speed indoor go-karts and that did not turn out good. The person was like throwing all the flags at me but then I was so nervous and like anxious and I was really confused because I forgot what the flags meant so I was like what do I do? And then they were like telling me to pull over so I pulled over and they yelled at me. <laughs> I actually like scary movies but I I get scared easily but I like scary movies. Like I really like scary movies. I just get scared easily. Like all the scary shows, I like all the like I watch all scary TV shows but like you know just I like scary stuff but I don't like scary stuff it's really weird and I hate clowns don't need to say anymore I just really hate clowns they like they give me nightmares I, I don't know why I hate them so much I just do I'm really shy around people whenever I first meet them and usually like whenever I first meet you I'll just be like yeah <laughs> I just like an awkward laugh Cause I don't, I don't know how to like, I don't know how to act around people when I first meet them. Cause I'm kind of like, I'm kind of weird. Like if you, once you get to know me, it's, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not good at talking to people. <laughs> it's really bad. Like someone came up to me in the hallway and was talking to me and I was like, hey, mm, what do I do? So that was pretty great. I'm just really bad at talking to people. I always, I, this is kind of creepy. Like I like to pair people up in my mind. Who I think would make a cute couple so like if I see two people I'm like oh they'd be really cute together even if I don't know them I'm like oh you should date but like that happened to me once at an airport there was two people and I was like and then they were talking it was pretty great <laughs> and I like to think I made them match because the dude was lost because he was from France and then the girl started talking to him but then they were talking to me at the same time and I was like you're welcome you're probably gonna start dating so you're welcome but then I got on the plane <laughs> and left this also sounds really creepy, but I'm just going to say it. I like to watch people. <laughs> like, what I mean is, like, I like to watch people at, like, theme parks and malls and, like, you know, places like that, restaurants. Because I like to look at people's fashion and see how people dress because I like fashion. So I like to see how other people dress. Like, I'm not, like, judging people. Like, I don't judge. I just like to, like, see what people wear. It's a hobby. It's actually not a hobby because that's a creepy hobby. I just like doing it. I 
can still wear clothes from the little girl section. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. Like the last shoes I got are from the little boy section and they're still too big on me. Like, like I said, I got a size six and apparently I was supposed to get a size five, but I wear them anyways. But they're kind of like sandals, like whenever I like my heel comes out of them, but I wear them all the time. My feet are like embarrassingly tiny. Like they're just like really slim, but then they're, they're small too. So they're like, just don't fit any shoe and it's really embarrassing. I've never been in love. But, you know, I've had crushes, I have crush, <laughs> I've had crushes, I have crush, I have the crush, okay, <laughs> alright, and I've never been on a date, the last one, I can't wait for prom, <laughs> just like in general, I don't know, I'm excited for prom, why do I get so happy, <laughs> like next week is homecoming, not next week, next week, next week is homecoming, and I may go to that, I may have got asked to that, <laughs> but yeah, and so, I'm excited for prom because I have like a dress idea in mind and I really want to get it but I forgot where I found it from like I had a picture but then the picture got deleted but I still have the picture but I forgot what website I got it from and I really want that dress it's so pretty you don't even know how pretty it is well I could show you but I don't have it anymore but I still have it but it's like in a picture like on paper so I don't know what website it came from <clears throat> so I need to find it before prom, which I have like four years probably. Unless I don't even get asked, then I'll just like go by myself just for the dress. Like, hey, you thought I got asked? I actually just came for the dress. That'll probably be me. <laughs> Alright, bye.